Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to integrate Cucumber in Cypress to support BDD framework. So, to s integrate the Cucumber in Cypress, you know, we have to uh, follow some uh, steps. So, since it's a, you know, a Cucumber is a uh, BDD supported tool that support BDD framework uh, and in, and it's not an inbuilt tool that works with uh, uh, Cypress so we have to install that uh, Cucumber so how the Cucumber is going to be installed the first things like there is a plug in you know there is a plug in which is called Cypress Cucumber preprocessor so Cypress Cucumber preprocessor that plug in it's a help to integrate or install Cucumber in Cypress so that we can uh, build our project based on BDD framework. So here is some of the steps. You can find all the steps uh, in our official website codeinboxautomationlab.com and this is the you know uh, uh, article it's how to integrate Cucumber BDD framework in Cypress. You can find it in our site available and you can follow it. You know so let's go follow uh, step by step in our uh, BS code so we're going to use BS code as our uh, code editor so let's open our BS code you know let's minimize this one so side by side so that we can follow the steps okay let's open our BS code let's minimize this too okay so here is our uh, VS code and beside our side and all the uh, steps that we're going to follow so let's uh, open a new terminal here the first things you know we're going to install Cypress Cucumber preprocessor plugin so to do this so this is the command so npm install you know is uh, install add you know save uh, dev dependencies so copy that you know the code from there mm. okay no problem just copy from there this part and then type it over here in your terminal npm paste it here hit enter okay so you can see that's installing I can just um, mix it a little bit bigger so you can see it. So you know, just uh, let it uh, uh, you know install it. So it will install that part. I mean, I already did it, so I'm just doing it once uh, again. So let's see that how much I can go ahead. But I will explain all the steps so that you can easily follow it. So you can see it. It uh, looks like it's done. It says, you know, Cypress Cucumber preprocessor. This is the version 4.01. So it may have a different version, but whatever the version, you know, it will show you. So it looks like it's installed like 31 packages. You know, it's been installed underneath this plugin. Okay. So let's see that how we're going to, you know, the confirm it's been installed. So if we go to, I would say, I think so, if we go to package.json file, so package.json file, package.json file, let's open it. It should show, okay, mm -hmm. Cypress Cucumber preprocessor, it should show the preprocessor over here. Sorry, I opened Cypress JSON package JSON. Okay, so if you open package uh, JSON file, so you can see Cypress preprocess is over here. It's already installed. Okay, you can see. So this is the proof that will ensure it like you you got this uh, Cypress Cucumber plugin in your machine. So next, uh, next we're going to you know uh, update one of our index uh, uh, JS file. 
So in our index.js file, let's go to it's underneath Cypress uh, plugins index.js. So you can see over here plugin index.js. So open this one. Over here, we're going to update uh, you know this code. So this code, we're going to update it, right? So over here, let's just copy this and just uh, you can paste it over here okay and make sure you save the file so just save it save all so you save the file okay and after that you know uh, we are going to add support for features file to your Cypress configuration it means and which is in JSON file Cypress JSON file it means you know since you know in our uh, the previous uh, all the lectures or the Cypress uh, default uh, framework which is a uh, mocha framework so when you run it shows all the spec file right all the different test cases which is based on mocha file but when you uh, build your project based on BDD or Cucumber uh, framework so you want you only want to run those file which is uh, related to features file so I hope that you know all about the uh, the BDD frameworks. So in BDD frameworks, you know, so your test cases will be written in English uh, uh, sentence, which is called features file. So you need to pull only your features file. So your first, you know, visualize execution file would be your features file. So so you have to narrow down when you run your test cases, whether in headless or head uh, header mode, is going to be just execute it will just find the features file not all other file which is related to mocha file so how you are going to you know narrow down the specification so to do this that's what we have to do over here in our cypress json file in our cypress json file go to cypress json file and here you have you know you are going to add this part right you are going to add this file like the the test file you are going to just will you know uh, find which is file is based on dot features not other files okay so you can just uh, put this one I would say just copy this this part and paste it here it should be fine okay and put a comma so it means so only it will find when you run your test case it will only uh, consider the file to execute which is based on dot features okay so not other files all other files will be ignored so you can put this part as well as if you want you can just put uh, this part to ignore test file uh, you can put this one too ignore test file okay so I miss a double quotation right so you can put this too. So either you can put both or just you can put this one in a test file which is dot features file or as well as you have put more specification that ignore test file like the file it has extension with the js dot js which is the based on mocha framework or dot md. So it will only file you know find this features file. Make sure you save it. Okay and the next one so we did this part go back to the package.json and update your dependency so go to package.json file this is our package.json files and you know this this file it has all the listed your dependency you know to build your frameworks to run your uh, some external plugin all those things right so as uh, that's why we saw after we installed the cucumber preprocessor we checked over here because Cucumber preprocessor is an external plugin. It should be it should be showed over here, uh, you know, to work as as a framework. Similarly, we have to update some of the dependency over here that which is related also Cucumber preprocessor. Just you know, copy this, copy this, uh, yes, copy this code and paste it over here. I would say script okay yes maybe here just in the underneath just before you script you can put it here okay and maybe you put a comma here oh, sorry here is a comma okay so you add this 
dependency also so it's not only the plugin you have to enable but also you add this plugins dependency right Cypress Cucumber preprocessor plugin dependency on your package JSON file and if you noticed uh, you know I customized some of the script you know over here uh, at the same package JSON file you know this is our customized command so to run our test runner you know to open our test runner this is uh, the sci open this is a custom command that I'm going to use during our project to execution uh, you know to run our uh, test ca uh, cases through the test runner so it will be you know sci open so which is this is a custom command I created this similarly if you use if I use the dashboard this is the you know the custom command I create sci dashboard you know to uh, Run, run our test cases through the dashboard so uh, I mean previous one of our uh, lecture if you see our previous tutorial you will see this where you know I updated this customized uh, script so anyways or we'll use general uh, you know general command which is NPS uh, NPX Cypress open to run our test cases and uh, so next is so make sure we save all and after that you know this is very specific for BS code uh, editor so if you use the BS code editor we can you know add VS code icon which is the features icon so in BDD you know it's a BDD cucumber when you have a feature file you know it it has its own icon so when you create a features file it looks you will see it so you need to enable that plugin too like VS for VS code you know uh, there is an icon for BDD so let's see this where how we can find it you follow this file preference if you go file then find preference preference and then file icon theme icon icon theme right and then you type over here uh, VS code icon right VS code icon he over here okay just selected right so it will be automatically you know uh, enable and after that you know you have to you know install this add-on which is the cucumber gherkin so your program your you know editor also need to support you know uh, using the because this is the cucumber cucumber follow gherkin language which is our given when then format right that's uh, that's the format usually that's follow for BDD frameworks and cucumber it has uh, inbuilt that uh, you know uh, garking language which is the you know simply BDD framework so we need to confirm that it is also this add-on it's just all you have to just you know enable this one so if you click on this link so you can see you can install it right you install it and this is for specifically for your BS code just click on install okay you can read in more details over here that's a, what is Gherkin language or syntax you know which is like it follows uh, a given when then uh, approach which is the BDD approach so click on install continue open BS studio and over here you know it's already installed I mean I already installed before that's why is the so you for your case you will see there is install you will just click on install it all over all it will be installed so in my case uh, since I already installed it so now it's just the uh, option is uh, disable or uninstall so pretty much you know that's all you need to do to integrate cucumber tools to support BDD framework in Cypress okay so pretty much uh, that's all there's nothing else you need to do very simple and very easy steps that you can follow so from the next class we're going to start a brand new project which is based on cucumber using the cucumber and BDD framework okay and till then stay tuned and watch the next tutorials thanks a lot have a good one